Hello, my name is Tony Lyle, a CAM application engineer with Prolim. In this snack bite, I'm going to give an overview of post processors and the integrated simulation inside NX. Let's look at some examples. Here we have a program with a roughing operation, a Z level profile with collision avoidance. This one has collisions inside the operation that we'll look at in the simulation. Uh, and then just a couple of uh, five axis operations. Um, so for post processing, we can post individual operations here, or we can post the parent programs. So we'll post the program here, and here we have the out of the box NX posts, but I've also added uh, my own posts for an integrex and a very axis. If you don't have your post on here, you can also browse for it into your Windows Explorer or server. Uh, so we'll just give it a, a file extension and here you can browse for an output file and name it whatever you'd like to name it. And we'll go ahead and post process this program. Alright, so here's our program. Let me open it up in a text editor. So here is our posted program. Okay, so there's our posted program that we have put into our machine and, and run on the machine. So we can also verify this program inside the machine simulation. Uh, so for the machine simulation, we can look at the machine in the machine tool view. We can replace the generic machine with um, a machine from our library. We'll go to our mills. And here again, I have all these simulations out of the box in NX. But you can also have your create your own simulations, which I have the, the same Vera axis here. So I'll add this Vera axis, give it the part mounting position. And now I have my machine included into this program. Uh, so let's look at simulating this machine. set our speed down to 5 and we'll go ahead and play this so there's our tool change and we can we can turn the material removal on so we can see the material being removed while we process this okay there's our material removal Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop this. And if you'd like to be able to look at it from different angles, we can also turn off. Uh, we can suppress some of the some of the items inside of our simulation here. So I'll just take the door off in the side, the sheet metal from the side. Looks like we've got a tool setter in this as well. Um, so let's go back to our simulation. And we can also do, uh, let's take a look at this simulation for this operation. So this has collisions in it. So I, I'll turn on, we've got this collision option here. So we can turn on machine collisions or tool to part collisions. We'll turn those on. And now as I play this, slow down a little bit. Now as I play this, we'll see that once it gets around to the depth of the shank of the tool, we're going to get a collision. All right, everything's good there, but here we'll get our collision because of the shank of our tool is now hitting the part. All right, we can look at another example of this here on this five axis operation. Let's take a look at this one. Uh, first, I'm going to turn our sheet metal back on just to take a look at it. Now we will simulate this machine, simulate this operation. So here we're getting another collision. 
But if we zoom in, we'll see that the tool is actually hitting the part is actually hitting the shank here. However, we can we can go ahead and play through it just to see the actual simulation itself, but it'll you'll see the turn the tool is and the holder is turning red as it collides. Um, so I've, I've created another operation here. We'll play through this one. So here this just has a different cut method in it to where it's uh, just staying away from the part. I can slow this down a little bit. Okay, so that's our machine simulation. Uh, we have the option of running, we go back into our simulate machine, and we have the option of running either the machine code based simulation, which is what we're running now, which is running the um, running the actual G code that it's, that it's going to post out. We also have the option of running just the NX toolpath. So that's running the NX language in the background. We can also bring in our own, we can bring in our own NC program. Uh, so this is the program that we had posted earlier. I could bring this in and actually just run this with a simulation. All right, so this is no longer running my NX program. This is just running solely the NC text program. So if you have something that you've generated in another piece of software, you could bring it in here. Okay, so let's take a look at another program here. I've got another program we'll open up. And let's look at the simulation of this. All right, so again, we'll go to simulate the machine. We'll do a machine code. And let's play this one. So here you can see all the tool changes, see all the material removal. And milling, and it'll do some five axis milling next. All right, and then it's gonna it's going to uh, use the part grabber to grab the part and do the second side. All right, so the part has been moved to here, and we're going to cut the back side of this part. All right, so that's just a quick bit about the post and simulation overview. I'd like to thank you for watching this video and please check out ProLim's YouTube channel for other snack bites and lunch bites. Thank you.